What's going on, swim fans? In part four of our breaststroke video series, we are working on our breath control and our breathing. Now, breathing is so important in all of the strokes, but especially breaststroke because it's incorporated in the actual stroke. So if you don't have the breathing right, you're not gonna be able to do the stroke at all. Now, if you haven't watched part one, two, or three, where we talk about our timing, our kick, and our pull, make sure you watch those. I have the entire six-part video series laid out right over here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a few different drills that really work on this skill. And then at the very end of the video, I'm gonna share with you some pro tips so you can improve your breaststroke. If you guys are ready, I'm ready, let's go. Today's drill set is powered by chlorine. Nope, just kidding. It's the My Swim Pro app and my Apple Watch because I got the entire workout laid out for me set by set. We're gonna do a short warm up freestyle, then I do all the strokes to get my body set up for the main drill session. So because we're working on technique, I wanna do 16 25s drill, and like always, I'm gonna do four different drills. So I'm gonna go four 25s of each skill, then we're gonna put it all together. So the first one we're gonna do is one that I've done before. It's a three kick, one pull breaststroke. So I'm gonna push off the wall in a streamlined position, really tight. I'm gonna put all my skills together on the kick for three. So I'm gonna go one, two, three kicks, then I'm gonna open my body up and get into the breaststroke pull and then dive back down for three more kicks. Now, when we're focusing on breathing, it's really important to focus on what I mentioned in the first video of this series, and that is the timing of the breath. You wanna think in your head when you assume breaststroke, pull, kick, glide. Now the pull and the breath sort of happen at the same time. You can actually start to initiate the pull, meaning your hands start to separate away from streamline while your head is still under the water and your eyes are looking at the bottom. As you start to grab the water and your hands start to separate away from each other, then you start to create some leverage and you can actually pull yourself up and out of the water. Now when you breathe, it's really important that you don't pull yourself up too high because what happens is when you breathe and you pull yourself high, what goes up must come down. And so normally your legs are just gonna sink like a rock and that's gonna make you a lot slower. So you wanna make sure you maintain a balance of keeping your hips high in the water and only coming up high enough so that you can get a breath and the faster you go, the easier it's going to be to get higher out of the water. I don't mean you have to swim fast to get enough air, but as you become a faster swimmer, it's gonna become easier to be higher out of the water and keep your legs from sinking. Now the second part of this series is two kick, one pull. Just like three kick, one pull, you push off the wall and streamline, you take two streamline kicks, and then you pop up for the breath. Really focus on timing. Pull, kick, glide. When you're doing this drill, it's really easy to dive down deep. Make sure you stay closer to the surface level of the water and you go deep enough to maintain your momentum. Now the third drill in this series is the underwater upside down breaststroke. Now this is really gonna focus on developing your timing, your breath control, your lung capacity, and it's a fun drill to give a try. So really make sure you push off on your back, get some oxygen in there. If you have nose clips, that might help. And really focus on the timing of the stroke. When you flip around and you do this on your stomach for the last part of this series, when you swim full on breaststroke, it's gonna be so much easier to feel that pop out of the water, get your breath, and you're gonna have less resistance on the recovery. That's gonna make everything easier about breaststroke. And breaststroke is the slowest stroke because you have the most resistance. And that's because you're swimming the lowest in the water. So if you think about why freestyle is faster than breaststroke, freestyle you're naturally going to be in the highest body position. And it's a long axis stroke just like backstroke. Butterfly and breaststroke, because they're short axis strokes, you're actually gonna be lower in the water and that's gonna make it more difficult for you to maintain that high body position. And that's why technique is so important. So once you put it all together, we're gonna to do a breaststroke set so that way we can swim more efficiently. So what we're gonna do is five 100s where I'm gonna alternate between breaststroke and freestyle. And again, I'm really focusing on that perfect technique and I wanna focus on the timing of the breath and not getting myself out of breath by going too fast. So the way this works, the first one is a 100 freestyle. The second 100 is gonna be 25 breaststroke, 75 freestyle. Then the next one is a 50 breaststroke, 50 freestyle. The fourth is a 75 breaststroke, 25 free. And the last one is a full 100 breaststroke. I'm really focused on my breath control and my timing in the stroke. Now, as I dive in and you watch me do this, pay attention to my distance per stroke and when I'm taking the breaststroke pull and breath. It's pull, kick, 
glide. Pull, kick, glide. I'm only taking about five, six strokes per length, and the goal is to really maximize my distance per stroke and have a high body position. And that factors in everything, not just the breath, but also the pull, the kick, and the glide. Breaststroke is really technical, and there's so many ways that you can always focus on improving. So make sure you apply these drills. If you want more technique like this, you gotta check out the MySwimPro app to get a personalized training plan to help you swim faster and smarter than ever before. As you can tell, breathing is so important to the timing of the breaststroke stroke. If you guys enjoyed this video, you're gonna love the next one on how to perfect the breaststroke pullout. I'll see you guys in that video.